this unboxing that I'm about to do for you guys has been long awaited. So you guys wanna know what I did with my stimulus money. This is exactly where it went. It went to a follow focus system. This is the follow focus by Tilta. This is called the Tilta Nucleus Nano. And if you guys don't know what a follow focus is, basically what it does is, uh, you know, once you get to the point where you're using all manual settings with your lens, it's very important to have a good follow focus because now you're controlling your focus rather than relying on the autofocus to do a lot of that work for you. So what this Tilta Nucleus Nano does is uh, it's a little wheel. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm not going to show you guys how to set this up because that's more of a comprehensive review. I just want to give you guys a little bit uh, of uh, the setup and I want to show you guys my new stabilizer. So. I'm about to uh, unbox this first. You guys are unboxing Get Live with me. This is the Ronin S by DJI. Um, this is my older, this is my first stabilizer that I used right here. This is from a company called Pulos, Pulas, whatever you call it. Um, I got it off of Amazon for about 80 bucks. And uh, this helped me, that I, I'd probably still use this. This is a mechanical stabilizer, which means that it has no battery. You just kind of balance it with these weights right here. This was my first one, $80 Amazon, got me through mad sheets. That right there, you've been good to me. Again, this is the Ronin S, this is my first time unboxing this. Can't find my blade, so I have a pin that I'm gonna try to work into this right now. Yo, this is where all my stainless money went. For the most part, like, it, you know, everything for me is kind of like a reinvestment back into my business. So, um, let's take this out. Oh my gosh. Get this out of here. Right here. This is the DJI Ronin S. This is a battery operated stabilizer. For those of you that, does, that don't know what a stabilizer does, it's to make your footage smooth, whether you're walking, running, driving in the car. If you try to do it with your hand, uh, there'll be a lot of micro jitters in, in, your, uh, in your frame and you don't want that, right? You want the smoothest footage possible. Being in the world of filmmaking is so easy and accessible to everyone today. Something like this can go a long way. So I would recommend a any kind of stabilizer out there on the market if you want smoother footage, especially if you're into videography, cinematography, filmmaking, that kind of stuff, etc. It's like these are toys for me. Like this is a toy. And um I believe this retailed for about 550 bucks. And there it is to me, like that's perfection to me. It's all about presentation. Let's take this. Let's take this off. Get this paper out of here. And here it is. You kind of have like this uh, this lock, lock and twist mechanism up here. Turn that. And oh my, here it is. It is. It's all about presentation. This is very very pretty. The presentation is very it's set up really well. You got some instruction manuals here. I've watched extensive reviews on how to stabilize this. Again, I'm not going to be doing that here with you guys. I just want to show you guys the follow focus system. This is this is going to come in handy. This is to uh, depending on the weight of your lens. This is to hold the lens up, so that may come in handy. Get this gel out of here. This is another base plate. This is the battery battery grip. So we're gonna set that down. This is the tripod grip. This is made out of steel, it feels like. Hey man, hey man, hey, you got your stimulus just like I did. You could have did the same thing. I'm interested in this shit. So what you wanna do is you wanna take this battery grip, you wanna slide it right in here, and you lock it. So now that's not sliding anywhere. Now you wanna take the tripod grip, put it on the bottom here. So essentially you'll be holding it like this, right? This tripod extends, so let's close this box up. Let's put this to the side. This tripod extends out like this. And that's where you wanna be with it to set it up. And that's, it's, oh my gosh, yo. This is like, uh, I love shit like this. I geek out over shit like this. If you guys have any questions or comments, you got the access right here. You slide this back and forth to kind of like uh, balance your camera. 
I'm gonna do another review soon to show you guys, once I get my new camera, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to set this up and stabilize it. Now, I'm gonna put this to the side because the only thing that I'm going to attach to this right now is the uh, Tilta Nucleus Nano Follow Focus System. And again, I'm not gonna be setting up the whole thing, but I wanna show you guys how this integrates with the Ronin S beautifully. It integrates like, like it was made for this shit. So again, what this is for, what this system is for is to pull focus. So you know how the autofocus, if like you focus on one thing, the autofocus will focus on that one thing. Well, when you use your camera with manual focus, you're able to take the focus off of that, refocus it onto something else, take it off of that something else and refocus it back. You control your focus. That's the importance of using your camera on manual settings. And if you're into filmmaking videography, you wanna learn how to do that all the time. Photography is different. You can use autofocus. That's, that's actually a great time to use autofocus is when you're doing uh, photography for a important client or you have a model, use autofocus. But for filmmaking, you wanna control your focus. Um, again, the DJI Ronin retailed for about maybe $600. This retails for about $250. It comes in like this nice mesh. This is the focus ring. I like it. Uh, nobody that ever does these reviews mention like this finish, like this wooden finish um, with like this like little steel, this little steel plate with the uh, Tilta logo. And then you have the mounting bracket on the back. This is, in the, in the, in the wheel, it's, it's a smooth turn. It's, it doesn't feel loose, it doesn't feel cheap. You just pick the side that's most comfortable for you. I'm gonna put it onto my left. And let's get the appropriate size. Let me lock it right quick. So I think I put it on the right way. If not, we're gonna have to redo this. All right, nah, I'll put it on the right way. I can tell that I'm gonna love this thing. You know, once I get it, once I get everything set up and going, I'll, I de I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So if you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave it in the description below. I'll be more than happy to answer the questions. If you guys have anything that you can teach me about this, even though I feel like I've learned everything. <laughs> but if you guys have anything that you can teach me or anything that you want to, you know, know about, leave them in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching this video slash kind of review-ish. Uh, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay creative.